Y'all know what day it is? Well, just in case you forgot, it's finally Friday. Today is Snap-on Friday. Right there is the man himself sporting a brand new hat. So you guys, <laughs> come on. It is summertime, summertime, summertime. Dang sure summertime. Fella ain't got no AC today. Hey. He'll be wishing he had some. It's gonna be like that all week, next week too. And rain. Son, you must have had a sale on some power tools. Got or somebody done, somebody done broke in one. <laughs> we got a got three of the new ratchets in. Which yeah. It's all gone over. Them, they're nice. I got, uh, I think it was six or seven more what I've seen coming in. The lights on them, snap on, step it up on the lights. I don't agree with that. Uh, a little slower than the regular, but faster than the brute. Mm -hmm. I haven't used one of them yet, just speed wise, sitting on top of the toolbox. But they are, uh, I think they did good on that one. I think good that was a good upgrade. Good. Well, I need to try one of them. Yeah. I know Brent got one. Yeah. So he'll give me some feedback. If he says it's good, then you know it'll be good. He's it's gonna, gonna be good. It. Yeah. My, I hope my demo's in next week too, so I can let people try it out. So when, cause like I said, I got three of them in. I think it was Monday evening the last week. Yeah, because I sold all three of them on Tuesday. Two of them at the first shop. I was like, oh crap. But, <laughs> I mean, they sold, so that's good. What uh? What you got written on the board up there? Oh, that's for that giveaway that we win. did. Want to win what? That's that little uh, creeper seat truck. Oh yeah. The front and the back. Yeah. Who ended up winning it? Uh, Have y'all done it yet? Yeah. What was his name? Brandon uh, Spencer. Yeah. He's a Wednesday guy. Cool. He got it. We're gonna do another one here pretty soon. I got two more of them at the house. So. Gotta, gotta give them away to somebody. Yeah. Need to come up with something cool to do for the meetup for I'm, everybody coming in. Yeah, we may do something with, I got a bunch of cool stuff at the house. I've been going through my shop and digging out a bunch of old stuff that uh, we're gonna bring up here, show everybody. Of course, everybody sees the new hat. Don't have the one with the full of three quarts of 20 W50 in it anymore. <laughs> but, uh, it's pretty comfortable. I got a case of these. I ordered four different ones. They sent me one of each to try out, make sure I was on them before I ordered them. Yeah. So I have the rest of them. This is the first day I've, I got these in, or this one in yesterday. Uh, I sent her an email this morning, told her I liked it. And That's a cool send me, hat. Send them on to me. So we have these. Ordered a bunch of shirts and stuff. You gonna have any of the ones like you got on? Everybody wants one of them shirts. I don't have to check and see. <laughs> I ain't even sure. This is, I don't wear a lot of that. Uh, like the cloth t-shirts, I love the dry fit. Yeah. I like them. Uh, I get, they just wear better, breathe better. I guess when you're fat like me, you, know, you gotta have some breeze so you don't spend, <laughs> burn and slap up, you know? Uh, but yeah, like I, said, I like this t-shirt. This one, and I got a, a, a black snap-on one that says the 100 on the front of it right mm -hmm. here. I like it pretty good. Well, we was talking at lunch, guys. Like, as y'all know, me and Hamilton eat lunch together every Friday. And uh, we was talking about like clothes and stuff yeah. like that. You know, we was talking about like wearing out clothes and stuff. And and we got to talking about shoes. And, and me and Hamilton's got the exact same taste in shoes. And like it may surprise some of y'all, but we're Croc guys. Yeah, big time Croc guys. <laughs> we like Crocs. And uh, I'd wear them, or of course these are tennis shoes. These are probably two or three year old. And uh, a lot of people probably seen my Croc tennis shoes I had on. I wore them for a year and a half or two years and had all the holes in them. Yep. I even wore them in the wintertime because they're 
Crocs are comfortable. Yep. I mean, it's like you walking on a cloud. But they finally started stinking, tried to wash them, <laughs> still stunk, washed them two or three times. And then uh, my wife threw them in the garbage. Yeah, we filed for a divorce after that. That's another something else because of that. But now nah, I'm playing. But she did throw them away because we couldn't get the smell out of them. It's funny. Like, tell him, tell everybody <coughs> what you said. Like, she said, we'll go get you. Like, uh, it's like a little kid, guys. Yeah. She's like, well, we'll go get you another pair. Yeah, she, he said, she had like bribed me. Like, we're going to get you another pair. Like, cool, let's go. You know, like, like okay, what am, right now. Like, all right, ain't no problem. I'll keep wearing these till we get, till we get some more. And then he said, well, what am I supposed to wear to the Crocs yeah. store? <laughs> <laughs> she would be wearing tennis shoes. Then we got serious trust issues. We've been together 15 years, 16 years, and she wanted me to wear damn tennis shoes. But how do you deal with somebody like that? <laughs> Heartbroken. That's what I said. Hurt my feelings. Big time. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah we like Crocs. Number, and then we got to talking about blue jeans and, you know, of course, old Thomas, you know, he was brought up with his, <laughs> his pretty Kiss stitching, jeans. pretty stitching jeans and all that. And uh, I said, my rule is like these fancy jeans, the zippers is real short in them. I like a longer zipper so you can, you know, if you drink beer, you know what I'm talking about. Like, you, you got to get to your guy a little you more gotta... often than the normal fella does, right? right? And then they always got these little short zippers. And then you can't get nothing in your pockets because they got, I guess, maybe they're made for city folks that, like, just carry, like, a, I don't know. You can't even put up a cell phone in. I don't know. Maybe a pack of gum or something. It's all yeah. that'll fit in the pockets, and I can't. Well, I can't do that. My problem is, well, right, of course, my keys are here now. But most times, anywhere I go, I got a pocket knife. Yep. And it's not no little one. I mean, it's a good size pocket knife. If I don't have this one, I got a, a small one that I carry. I used to carry with me, but I lost it, and I found it, lost it, found it again. When I'm afraid I'm gonna lose it, the third time I'm gonna find it, so I don't carry it no more. And uh, my cell phone holder broke so now I gotta put that in my pocket. Well these is fine because like you can get your whole hand down in these pockets but a lot of you blue jeans ain't like that. Yeah. And then you got so now I ain't got no holder. I got a phone. holder in there on the table. I need it. It's brand new. You can have it. Because well, if I can't it. stick it in my pocket I ain't doing it. Yeah. Then I got my money clip over here. And most of Which I got is my key. now his money clip ain't like a normal guy's. You know it's about it's about like a uh, the Big Macs used to be before they started downsizing. <laughs> it's about like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like the old Big Macs was way thicker than the new ones. Like the new Big Macs is about like a regular hamburger. Mine's like, like Hamilton's got mine's them. Mine's like the regular hamburger of a single patty with nothing on it. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. It looks like he's carrying a, like I say, it looks like he's carrying a, a, a roll of biscuits in his pocket. <laughs> like a can of biscuits. That ain't my wallet you're looking at. That's the problem. <laughs> So, so uh, send me a text message over that one. Yeah, yeah. There'll be uh, there'll be some girls texting you like, "Hey, are you still married? I got some Crocs, <laughs> <laughs> and I got some britches with some deep pockets." Yeah, yeah everybody can see mine. Look, and you got no money. Mm-hmm. Y'all, y'all don't believe that. I do carry cash with me. I mess with all y'all. Cause I don't, I hate using the card. Did you see him take it out? Look, now, <laughs> now hold it back up there. See there? I told you all. That's all ones. Uh, hundreds. <laughs> I hate using the card. Like the only thing I use, I use my business card to put fuel in. Yeah. Or if I buy something online, then we use a credit card. But as far as like going out to eat or going anywhere, my wife is a debit card person. Mm -hmm. I'm a cash person. I, I, I don't know, I don't trust the debit card, I guess. I don't know. Like when I'm around home here, I, I like to use cash. But when I go out of town, you know, I'll keep like 200 on me. Yeah. But the rest of it, I want, I want to use debit cards. A lot of places, like when we went to New Orleans a couple weeks ago, a lot of places you can't use cash. Yeah. A lot of, like yeah. we went to Nashville not long ago and we went to a bar. And uh, I mean, by the time you sit there, you eat and drink and everything else, mm -hmm. if you go to the big city, it's only 150 bucks yeah. anywhere you go. And went to pay with cash, and the woman looked at me like I was a fool. Like, we don't take that. Like, wow. what do you mean you don't take that? You know? <laughs> like, we don't take cash. It's card only. Wow. I well, didn't have to use my card, and that just pissed me off then. Yeah. But, I mean, I understand it, I guess. 
Well, I, mean, I don't understand it. I don't either. Because if I was a restaurant owner, I'd want everybody to pay cash. And that way, I you know. Mean, well, you got a friend of ours that owns a Cajun style restaurant in Saltilla. They got two registers up there. And one's a cash, and the other one is, is mm -hmm. the iPad that they turn around that you just put your yeah, card in yeah. and stuff. And uh, I'm not going to name the restaurant, but if you go down there, they give you a bill, and you go back up, they ask cash or card. You do cash, you get the discount. Mm -hmm. Well, that's I the way it should be. Why, well, here's the reason why. Like, because every time you run a debit card, a lot of people don't realize that, but the debit card company charges you at least 3%, yep. you know. Like, I pay 3.75 for mine. I don't know what you pay on the Snap-on truck. Mine varies. Like, MasterCard and Visa is lower. Amex is a little bit more. Discover yeah. with mine, I don't get very many discoveries. So you got to give and to right. you get some here to give some and take mm -hmm. some there. So the discover on mine is, is like 5%. It's high. Mm -hmm. But I did that, so I gave my Amex a little bit lower because Amex is usually high. Yeah. Because I actually, I do got guys that use Amex card. And I'm not gonna turn them down. There's some dealers that fuck. I'm not taking Amex. I'm not taking right. this stuff. I'm taking anything that they're gonna pay. For. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, our Napa here, like, you can pay every week if you want to, but I pay once a month. And the reason why he does that, if you pay by the 15th every month, which you should, you bought the parts, you yeah. know you owe it, he gives you 3% credit on your next month's bill for the, the purchases of this month. Because, and I asked him, I was like, what's the purpose of that? And he said, because I only have to pay one credit card swap transaction. Where if you come in here and paid every time or every week or whatever, I'm eating up more. Yep. He said, and you, you think it would be the same, but it's not because they charge you so many cents plus the 3.75%. Yep. Well, ours is like every transaction we pay, like it's a, a cent and a half per mm -hmm. transaction plus the 3%. Yep. And it don't matter, if, I mean, the 3% is not gonna change if it's $10 or if it's 10,000, right. it's still 3%. Yep. But it's only a cent and a half per transaction mm -hmm. to use it. So yeah, I mean, with guys coming, they pay a bigger chunk. Like I got some that do a monthly bill, and I understand. And then I, I'm not going to ask these folks, hey, you might pay monthly, so I save right. like four and a half cents per month. Because I mean, that's just the price of doing business. Man, I just throw yeah. an extra nickel on the counter when I walked out if, it, <laughs> if I needed to. Yeah, know? I mean, but I understand. With, like, a lot of them may have like a processing fee. Like there might be yeah. over anything over ten thousand, might be like a five dollar processing fee or something, or a ten dollar processing fee. And I mean, a lot of places have that, but uh, most everyday users, everyday consumers, uh, they don't realize, they don't see all the hidden fees behind stuff that small business owners like yourself or me or restaurants. And what is your average, see. like, what does your average guy pay a week on his, say, truck account bill? I think mine right now with COVID, I'm somewhere like 52 to $55 uh, average. Uh, before COVID, I was about $65 average. That's good. Uh, and I was, I've been about between 60 and 70 all up until COVID and now. So, right so there's now. a lot of money running through your hands. I mean, yeah. I know a lot of it's tool costs, but right. like, it's yeah, a lot of. If I was able, if I could keep 100% of everything that came in, it would be yeah. very We'd nice. be drinking beer on you every Friday night. Yeah, no questions asked. You know? <laughs> like, we well, yeah, I want three pictures. Them all, That's know? it. We'll take three <laughs> pictures. <laughs> three pictures. <laughs> Just drinking out of the pitcher, not even worry about a glass. <laughs> but yeah, they, uh, I mean, if user fees, processing fees, and all that's what they get you at on the small business side of it. Yeah. <clears throat> not alone the tax rates three times the mm -hmm. average for small business what it is anywhere else. Yeah. Well, I had a lot of people asking about the pry bars you sold. Like, what's the part number I got to have? I'm like, I don't think they're snap-on. No, no, they, they I think he the, ordered them. Probably He probably ordered them because somebody requested them and had to get them in bulk to get them. But. Yeah. They're, no, they're not a snap-on product. Well, have you yeah. broke one yet? I know you said you was going to try. I haven't broke I haven't went out to try to break one. I have been using one. I got one at the house I used. Um, the other day, like, of course, I told you I bought me a Jeep Wrangler. And the hinges on the Jeeps are rubber. Yeah. Well, when you go down the road, they vibrate. The older they get, they vibrate. Well, I couldn't stand that because the hood don't fly up on there or something. Yeah, Hamilton's like a week old. He, you know, he don't, he don't buy you stuff. <laughs> <laughs> a Jeep 10 year old. This be antique here pretty soon. But I had to take the grill out, the grill and stuff to get to the passenger side hinge on there. Uh, 
and normally you're not supposed to, I guess, but somebody put a thing K and N there, filter kid on there, and it's mm -hmm. all bolted in, and I wouldn't take that out. We can get the grill out just by popping the uh, how the push pins out. And I used this on it and to pry that grill out. It worked good. I mean, the tip it looked brand new besides a few little scratches on it. Well, there's a lot of people wanting them. I'm like, I don't think they're snap. No, they're not snap on products. Like, what's the price of those? These cost me almost five dollars a piece. Five bucks. So how much are you selling them? Five dollars. Five dollars a piece. Yeah. So you could pretend it's snap on and just pay him twenty five dollars. Yeah, and there you go. <laughs> Somebody asked me, why not I'm just on? kidding. Snap on corporate. <laughs> I'm just joking because we all know if it had Snap on's name printed on it, you could pick this truck up off the ground, it wouldn't bend. <laughs> it's just a joke. All you snap on lovers, it's just a joke. I, I'm I just hate it kidding. for you, but I'm gonna be truthful. That's, I had somebody <laughs> ask me, I said, that lifetime warranty group's being funny. And yeah. I'm like, like, well, yeah, I can save more lifetime warranty, you know? It'll be 30 you bucks. Go, yeah, $65. <laughs> Everybody's like, man, you got the best snap on guy because he jokes, you know, like, because yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, guys, y'all got to understand, he probably hears this all, all the time, day. all the time. And I do it just to be funny because, yeah, like, I understand, yeah. you know, like, it, he's got to make money, you know, and even at 40%, by the time you figure the truck payment, the insurance, the fuel, his tool payment, all the money he floats for people on a truck account, like, and at the end of all of that, he still has to make money to provide for his family. Yeah. So, I yeah. mean, it is what it is. A, a guy people, that never owns a business will never understand that kind of stuff. A lot of people might not realize this, but we ain't even that 40%. Yeah. We're the lowest percentage out of all tool trucks out there. I'm not going to say the percentage, but I quit Google and you can find the percentage off every tool right. truck out there. Real easy to find. And everybody thinks, well, man, that's a lot, 30%. Okay, it's a $100 item. All right, let's say you you, you know, you, you bought it for seven and you, you're making $30 off yeah. of it. Well, if a guy puts it on a truck account, it takes you 10 weeks to get your money back. That's $3 a week. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> Rolling in the dough. Making it around here, you know? And if you got a thousand customers, that'd be three thousand dollars a week, right? Yeah. If everybody paid their bill. And every, yeah. That's what and well I get a lot of people complain about like these lights right here. Well dang they why are they so high? Like, I don't know. I can give you a number, you can call and ask them, you know. I don't make the price up. I type it in the computer, if it says ninety five dollars, it's ninety five dollars. If I yeah. got it for eighty five dollars, you get it for eighty five dollars. I pass the deals on everybody else. I'm right. not a hoarder. You know, we're gonna move them on. But I don't make the prices up, and <laughs> I just sell them what they come up at, or what I can get them for. But so, yeah, they, do uh, you have a lot of people come on here and try? And I mean, I work with some. We, I mean, we got a certain percentage, and you you own a business. You know, it takes fifteen percent of what you make yeah. to pay everything minimal. You know, mm -hmm. fifteen to twenty percent. That's so if you got a good business. If you got a good business yeah. to pay everything, that's out of your percentage mark. So look, we'll say you went with 40 while I go. So we'll say we'll go with the 40. And you're taking half of that right out the gate. It's gone. Of your profit. Mm -hmm. Well, now your profit's down to 20. 15 to 20, somewhere not right. Well, now you got to pay your taxes and everything. Well, then half of that's gone. Like, well, dang, I got 10% out of that is all I can get to keep. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, well, I know a lot of people, you know, they don't understand, but like, yeah, you can get these sockets made in Taiwan, mm -hmm. and they're decent sockets. You know, they got a lifetime warranty and all that. Yeah, every tool coming out there now is off from the And I didn't time. realize that as much until I, I started, you know, with Trebus, and it's like, okay, it's American steel, made by Americans, in American, in America, with American wages that they have to pay the people. Yep. Then they take it a step further and like, I don't know where snap-on boxes are made. Maybe they're made overseas. Trebus is not, you know, all of their stuff, even the ink, the insert, everything, the sticker that's on the box yeah. is American made. Yeah, I mean, and they put so it it's on So it's a premium price that well, they have to pay for that, you know. Well, and that's like these. Everybody's seen the Trebus 02 sensor wrench. This is the 7, 8, so I got the 15, 16 also. And what Clay everything on there is made in America. These are This sticker right here, guys, is made in Tupelo, Mississippi. The box is made in America. The little plastic tray Here's that thing right sitting in is made in America. The steel's America. I'm, there's nothing imported at all on that wrench. And, that, and it's cost a lot of money. Like, they could go to Taiwan and get it done cheaper. You know, and people don't really understand that. 
and I didn't even understand it fully. You know, I knew it was more expensive to be made in America until I started talking with those guys and they're like, wow, when you like, see, like big when difference. You, like me being with Snap on, but well, I, back up before I was with Snap, my dad was a mechanic, so I raised up in a shop. My dad was a diehard made in America guy. He's a huge Snap on guy, even more now that I'm with Snap on, but he has a bunch of Mac tools, older Mac tools. Uh, he never had a Mac code either, but he had most of Mac Snap on stuff. Uh, and I never, a lot of people think like, like Walmart. So Walmart's the biggest mm -hmm. Chinese importer, the biggest business that's a Chinese importer in America. Uh, yeah, Walmart has everything. I never went stepped into a Walmart in my life till I was able to drive myself. Cause my dad didn't shop at Walmart. Yeah. And. Uh, you know, my my granddaddy was that way. You know, he liked Sears and yep. like the local stuff. He liked to go to Western Auto. Yep. You know, and like he went to the hardware store. You know, and and parts stores is where he got his parts at. You know, plus his tools. Like they had Black Hawk and SK and I, I got stuff Black like Hawk that tools. there. Yeah. And you know, he wasn't a Walmart guy either. And like he wasn't a chain grocery store guy. Like my grandfather's like, I'm not going to Kroger. I'm going to the Piggly Wiggly. Yeah. Because I know if I got a problem with something, Jimmy will take care of it. Yeah. Because he knew the owner is a local guy, and that was important to him, you know. Yep. Yeah, you go, we like Kroger, and the reason that I like Kroger a lot more is a lot of your Kroger food is USA stuff, is not imported, and a lot of the fruits and vegetables and meats come out of the states that the Kroger is in. Yeah. I didn't know that until probably five, six years ago. Uh, not advertising for Kroger by no means at all because there's a lot of Well, they're going to have, they're playing hell picking pineapples in Mississippi is all I can say. No <laughs> one, <I'm laughs> <telling you. laughs> I've looked but for they, them everywhere. Yeah, but they, uh, I mean, that's how I was raised up. And a lot of people think it's funny, they're like, like Harbor Freight. Mm -hmm. Everything, everything that I'm aware of Harbor Freight is overseas. Not saying China or Taiwan. I know one thing that they sell in Harbor Freight that's American made. You know what it is? Mm -hmm. You got a box right there. They sell tub of towels. Oh, really? And they're made in Cleveland, Ohio. That's, that's, what, that's what I, the one item I know without a doubt that Harbor Freight sells that's American made. Uh, I thought somebody the other day that's like, you ever been to Harbor Freight? So I told myself, I've never stepped foot in one. You need to go. And, uh, you find what, some bargains in there. One of my customers is like, I'm going to come get you. We're going to go to Harbor Freight. I said, I've never had any interest in going. How, how would you guys to like to watch a video of Hamilton <laughs> shopping in Harbor Freight. Like we could go in there and, and, and price snap on jacks. I mean, Harbor Freight jacks. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why my snap on guys love right there. Cause everybody says they're made in the same place. But like we could, we could go in there. Cause here's the deal. When you go in Harbor Freight, every single thing in the store compares it to snap on. Like yeah, I've seen all the, the pliers. $12.99, snap-on, crimpers, $89. <laughs> like, everything's compared to snap-on. Yeah. I think it'd be, that'd be a, we need to do that. That'd be a fun video. We used to get the... Uh, we need to take you to Buffalo Wild Wings and pour about four pitchers down your throat and then take you in there. <laughs> <laughs> we might get escorted out. But, yeah, we, uh, we used to get all the brochures, like, mail to your house. Well, they don't yeah. do that no more because they do the membership plane now, I guess, what somebody said. I'd go through all the brochures and you start the row cards. This before they had their toe box, they had the row cards then. But yeah, like the jacks or the impacts, the what's the uh, I can't the earthquake is their brand on the yeah. impact. Uh, yeah, so everything compares to the snap on. And a lot of people ask like why they do that. Well, everybody knows snap on. Uh, I mean they ain't nothing to put like Angus Iran got some dang good air packs. Yeah. I got one right now. At the their house. air packs are, uh, their compressors are awesome. I'll, well, the Angus Iran compressors yeah. make the USA. Mm -hmm. Very good uh, air compressors. And, uh, but yeah, they everything is in there compared to snipe on them. I'm not sure if it's because they think We need to go in there one day and we need to compare the tools. That'd be a fun video. I know you guys would like to see that. That'd be a good video. <laughs> Especially with Hamilton about half lit. Yeah, we have that on a Saturday one day or something. <laughs> we need to do that. And now I wonder if they'd let you stand in one of their toolbox drawers. Probably not. Now I'm not saying nothing bad about Harbor Freight. So you guys that love Harbor Freight, 
Yeah, don't hate on me, because every tool has its place. Just like every, I, I heard a car salesman tell me one time, he's buying some raggedy crap to put on his lot. I said, man, ain't nobody gonna buy that junky truck. He goes, every seat, or, or no, he said, every ass has a seat. Yep. He said, and I wanna have that seat for the guy that can't afford the one at Chevrolet place. Yeah, and that's yeah. what, but, my uh, dad always told me that too, I said about the tools. He got snap-on, mank, uh, wrenches. He also has some old school Craftsman and Blackhawk ones. Yeah. That he would, like, if he had to have one that put the torch on the bend around the mm -hmm. press or anything. You need that, you need a variety of stuff, right? To do that with. Or cut, you know, you might have to cut them off. Like yeah. me and Bills took Craftsman wrenches and cut them off you have to, make, to you know, get in there where we need it. You got a six inch wrench, it needs to be four and a half, you mm -hmm. gotta cut it off. And uh, so yeah, I mean, and I've got some cheaper tools in my shop at my house. A lot of them is ones I traded in, and a lot of them is Husky from Home Depot. Yeah. And uh, now I don't go to Home Depot just to buy no Husky tools, but what you should do is go to Home Depot and buy Milwaukee. <laughs> they be they're cheap. Because you know, there's been some people claim that that's what one of the tool dealers here does. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Not I've naming heard, no names, I've but heard stories about that. I said he would go to Home Depot and buy, buy them out all the, when they put them on sale, you know, the free battery <laughs> things. Yeah. I don't know. i never seen it. I never, I don't know. All I'm saying is that's what I heard. But hey, if you can make money off of it, do it, right? Free, that's, that's, that's part of living Casualism, here. Capitalism, ain't it? Yep. So, well, I guess now we've covered why Snap-on cost as much. Always buy breeches with bigger zippers and deeper pockets. And uh, we talked about American made. Harbor, going to Harbor Freight with Hamilton one day. Yeah. Everybody wants to see that. And your car. drag car. Everybody wants to see your drag car. We might just have to have you We're just driving have a, we might have to do a pay-per-view event and everybody can pay to watch you run your drag car. Because this gonna cost a lot of fuel going driving from my house to Buffalo Law Wings and Crackerboro. <laughs> I have to have a truck following us around. <laughs> yep. With fuel. <laughs> Can't do it right now. They'll be getting our picture taken putting on the uh, high thing. I was mowing my yard the other day. Of course, my lawnmower holds 20 gallons, you know. I didn't even know about the fuel shortage at the time. I'm at the store getting fuel or getting gas uh, in my diesel truck with four or five gallon buckets in the jugs in the back filling them up so I can go mow my yard and everything. And one older fella, he come up. And for like, those that don't know, Hamilton's got a big yard. Yeah. That's like, what... Hamilton's living on a golf course out there. It ain't really a <laughs> golf course, but it's as big as a golf course, and it looks like a golf course. That's just his private yard. <laughs> it ain't hole number 18. <laughs> <laughs> I got a big mower, and it takes a lot of gas, we'll just say that. And it, uh, but I was filling up, and the guy, he's like, you panic, man? I was like, I panic every time I have to buy a gas, you know? I was like, what do you mean? You had no clue what he was No, I didn't know what the graphic was talking about. I was like, I, said, I panic every time I have to buy a gas. He said, I don't do that. He said, but he said, I'm panic buying today. I said, me too. I said, I hope my card works when I stick it in this machine here in just a second. You know? <laughs> and he's like, what about the, you know about the gas shortage, buying all that gas? I was like, I don't reckon. I went and filled up my four jugs, my home mode, and everything else. The very next morning, I was on Facebook and I seen about the pipeline thing being shut down. I was like, that's Hat. what he is talking yep. about. So now he probably took my picture. I, probably, I got to find out on Facebook where my picture's at, <laughs> buying gas. Well, I got one more funny story to tell you, and you need to start doing this because this is the best one I ever done, right? So me and Shy went out to eat last Saturday before I went to Tampa, and uh, when the girl come to you know bring her check or whatever and i don't know why they call it a check it should be called a bill right yeah. not a check like you write me a check when i do work for you you know <laughs> i write you a check when you do work for me but anyway so she brings me the bill and i give her my debit card and she goes up there and runs it she brings it back and i said did it go through she said yeah it went through i said oh that's great she's like why i guess she thought i was gonna <laughs> say well i was expecting it to bounce or whatever i said well i found it laying in the parking lot <laughs> try that next time you got to eat man the look on their face is priceless yeah. <laughs> well i found that when i was walking in is in the parking lot i was just hoping it worked <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna do that sometime. it's funny so you guys on here listening y'all try that too it's a good one all right guys we're gonna get back to work y'all learned a lot of cool stuff today if you want to get hamilton some britches Remember he likes Crocs and he loves uh, deep pockets, 
and long zippers. You guys have a great weekend, and we will catch y'all later. Like always, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes. If you're not subscribed, take your finger, press that button. Super easy. Y'all have a great weekend. Later.